welcome to another Cooking with the Sternaman. Today we're going to be cooking some tuna cheesy pasta tuna helper. Now what this calls for, the first thing this calls for, it says you will need, is one and two thirds cups of hot water. I have no idea why they want it so hot, so what I did was I put one and two thirds cups of water in here. I'm just going to bring this water to a boil. That's the first thing I need to do. And check this out. I open up the box. There's not even a bag in here. I just tossed the noodles. It, it's like so, someone in the factory, they just ran out of bags, so they just said, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to toss the bags in there. Toss the noodles in there. Don't even pay any attention to how much. They just get like a handful and just toss it into the bag. <laughs> so that's what happens. Yeah, it's boiling, so it's time to... Oh, okay. All right, I'll check this, and this is now at the boil. So what we're going to do is, let's put these here. We're going to turn this burner on and take this splash pad out. All right, we're going to put in the pasta that they forgot to put in a the bag. There's the pasta. Here's the sauce mix that comes with it. It says cheesy sauce mix. Let's just take this off of here. And just do 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 There we go. What comes next? The hot water. And this is boiling hot water, let me tell you. Just splash it in there. Oh yeah, there you go, Daddy. And the milk. Any kind of milk will do. We need two cups of milk. All right, so count it with me, guys. Count it. Okay. From there and there. All right, that's one cup of milk. I can't hear you guys. How many cups is that? That's one cup of milk. Oh, y'all lazy. Y'all don't want to count with me. One cup of milk. There you go. There's two cup of milk. All right. What comes next? The butter. We need four tablespoons of butter. All right. Now this time, y'all guys got to count with me. Okay. Y'all got to count with me this time. I'm 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 serious. Here's one. I can't hear you guys. There's two. Come on, guys, y'all can do better. Except for that one little old lady in Nebraska. You're doing good. But the rest of y'all are lazy. Here's three. That's big tablespoons of butter. Four. There we go. Four tablespoons of butter. Now then, the next thing we need to add is two cans of tuna. And we're using the Great Value brand from HEB. I peeled the lid I, I peeled the label off so I can open it better. So here's two cans of tuna. Yeah, get in there. It all just plops in there. Let me get a spoon so I can get this last remnants of tuna out. It'll be easier this way. There you go. There's one can. One more can. Mm -hmm. Now the last thing we're gonna use, and, don't, and the recipe don't call for it, but we always put this in, is a can of sweet peas. We got the great value can, so let's just, there we go. Now what we're gonna do next, is we're gonna, Get my trusty little stirring spoon here. We're going to stir all this smack together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, daddy. And we're going to let this come to a boil. Okay? Okay. And this looks like it's boiling right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn down the heat a little bit. And we're going to cover it, and we're going to let it cook for 11 minutes. Meanwhile, while that's cooking, we're going to get started on the taters. 
We got faux cheese potatoes from Great Value, and I got this at Walmart. The Great Value always comes from Walmart. We got Walmart's uh, Walmart tuna in there, Walmart taters, and later on we're gonna have Walmart corn. So let's see what we need to do on here. We need to put, we need to boil two cups of water into here. Y'all gonna count with me this time, guys? Here's one. And here is two. Two cups. Now we're gonna have to have that come to a boil. Okay? Alright gang, so while we're waiting on this to boil, I'm going to take this other pot here and we're going to put some butter into this pot. This is going to be for our corn. So we're going to put some butter in here, plop some butter, because we just love butter. Two, how many scoops, Mom? Two That's or it. three? That's it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. This is the whole kernel sweet corn from Walmart. That's some good corn right here. Let me have a little note. Mmm, that's good corn. So let me just do that. And stir it, stir it, stir it. And when all the butter is melted, that's whenever you know it's done. Oops, little kernel. Just popped out there. Let me just lick it there. we're going to do is we're going to cover this and just let it cook and simmer. In the meanwhile, we're going to go check on the, on the water for our taters. Okay. Oh yes, this is boiling. So when this comes to a boil, we get, okay, we turn off the water. No, we turn off the burner, I mean. We take the, the taters, we just splash them in there. Quickly uh, stir, it up, stir 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 it up, and then it's going to start bubbling and popping back at you. So when that happens, you need to hurry up and get the lid on. Look at that thing shaking shimmy. Look at that thing. It's just a popping in the shimmy. All right, wait until it stops shimmying. And then, where did my other glove go? Take this off. And then... The Potatoes just need to thicken up, and they're they're just practically ready. Okay. And so while that's cooking, we just uh, stir up the corn a little bit more. Yeah, this is gonna be a good meal, guys. Very very. Uh, Two kinds of vegetables too. We got corn right here, and we got the peas inside of the tuner helper. So this is this is healthy. This is healthy for you guys. And you got your taters. That's a starch. That's good for you too. And tuna fish is good for you. That has like iron or something in it. Very healthy. Very good food. Daddy. Sterna man don't make nasty foods. He makes good foods. Oh! See, even the smoke alarm wants something. Ah, you be quiet over there. Ain't nobody asking you. They're pretty much ready. They're still kind of steamy. And this is about ready to go off pretty soon. I'm going to leave it in there for about a few more seconds. About 10 seconds or so. 10 or 15 more seconds. Alright, and the thing just went off, so we're going to take a look at it. Whoa! Look at that there. So we're going to 
let this uh, cool down and simmer down for a little while so that it can like thicken up. So how long did you say mama? 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. We're going to let it just simmer for about 10 minutes or so. Alright guys, so now it's been about 10 minutes and this is what it looks like when it's all thick and creamy. And you want me to do a taste test? Taste test here. That's excellent. That is good. I, I recommend it.